Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe Illustrator CS5. I have a very brief tutorial on showing you how to use the gradient tool and how to use it effectively within text and images and shapes. So what is a gradient? A gradient is something that you see here on this text here that I have here, the Tech Guru text. A gradient is a color fading into another color. Or in some situations, it may even be a color fading into nothing. So a gradient sometimes makes your text and your shapes just look a little sharper. Um, so what I'm going to show you is the different ways to apply gradients to text and shapes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our square shape down here in the center of our screen. If you're following along, all you will need to do will be go down to the shapes uh, right here and rectangle tool or the hotkey is M and draw you a square by holding down shift or just drag it and it'll be a rectangle. It really does not matter. Now apply a, well, really the color is really, it doesn't matter right now. So what I want you to do is once you have that drawn, I'm going to show you the gradient tool. The gradient tool is over here. The hotkey for that is G. So click on the gradient tool. Now, once you already have your, your, your rectangle filled out, hover over the square or rectangle, whatever it may be, and click on it. Now, you have to hover over it with your gradient tool and click over it with your gradient tool. Now, I'm going to show you how to work with the gradients. So, the first thing you can do, as you see here, this is what I call, I'm sure there's a technical term for it, but this was what I call your gradient toolbar, okay? This is on top of the shape that you're going to be applying the gradient to, and let me show you what you can do. This slider here is going to affect your fill color, whatever that may be. So you can click and drag and it'll have a deeper color going this way or you can click and drag and it'll you see it feels more going this way and the white is more, more relevant here. You can even add colors to this. So let's say I want to add uh, another color here. So I'm going to drag my green here and I'm going to add a little darker gray to my, um, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, that's not where you want to do that. I apologize. If you want to add another color, you can actually come up here under your gradient box over here and if the gradient box is not showing up for you go to window gradient and it will show up over here in the right side of the screen so I want to add another color I'm gonna click and hold and I'm gonna drag it up here and you can see where that line shows up so I want the gray to be right there alright so now I added a little gray color a lot, or even a darker white color, and you can see it here. And then once it's here, I can even move it around, and I can get it to look the way that I want it to look. Now let's say that, okay, I've got my gradient, but I want it to go from top to bottom, or, to, or bottom to top. Well, that's very easy. Over here, once you're highlighted on your gradient toolbar, once you're on the far right side of it, a little option comes up, and it's a little circle with an arrow. Click and hold, and look at this. I can drag my gradient to work any way I want to. So now, look at this. Now I've got it going from the bottom to the top. And I can do the same thing. I can come up here and I can rotate it. Okay, once I have it rotated like I want it, I can actually click on it here and drag it. Now I got it going the other way. Okay, and you can do so many things with this gradient tool. I can even have it go... Uh, you know, I can have it go diagonal, okay? I can have it go however I want it. So the gradient tool is a wonderful tool to use when you're trying to really amp up uh, the image or uh, the, the creativity and just the, the, the look of what you're doing. So now that we've talked about the gradient tool on shapes, let's go up here to text and let's show you how it works on text. So with text, it is, is primarily the same thing. It's, it's not any more difficult or any different on text. So I've got some green text here, and I'm going to change this to red up here, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. The first thing you have to do in order to do this, and I've already done it, but I'm going to show you the step. You need to select your text, go to Type, and Create Outlines. It's already selected, deselected for me because I've already done this. 
Once you do that, you're going to be able to add some gradients. So what I'm going to want to do is go to my gradients tab, and I'm going to want to add a color. So I'm going to add a white down here, and then I'm going to add a red over here. And as you see, I have added a gradient. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is, now if you notice, I didn't add my gradient toolbar over here. So I'm going to go down here, click on the gradient tool, and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to draw the way I want my gradient to be, okay? So give me one second here, okay? Uh-oh, there we go. And I'm going to draw the way I want my gradients to be here, okay? So what I'm, what I'm showing you is, is once... Once you have your gradient toolbar up here, you're going to be able to do whatever you want to do, okay? That's the beauty of the gradient bar, okay? And you can actually, you can have it however you want it, okay? So, as you see now, it's going to affect what I do. So, if I drag the red, it's going to affect it every time, even on text, okay? And I can also adjust it over here in the gradient box. So, if I want red to go over here... Make sure you have your text selected before you do this, or else it's not going to work. Okay. I do not want a radial. Now, you can do a radial gradient, gradient and that's kind of like from the center, and, it, and it'll kind of show like a circle. But that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do one, so that's kind of like a, a radiant. And then you go up to linear and it changes it back to the way you had it. So guys, that's a short video tutorial on how to use gradients in Adobe Illustrator CS5. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Have a great day.